Hello children, I am Arshna here and today's topic is integers. So what is meant by integers that we are going to see in this video and how to compare the numbers that is integers and here plot the numbers on number lines. These are the three things we are going to watch in this video. Come let's learn what is meant by integers. Integers. Integers are the biggest collection of whole numbers and negative numbers. So what is meant by integers? Integers are the biggest collection of numbers whole numbers and the negative numbers. So these two together known as integers. Integers are also numbers. What is meant by whole numbers here? It starts with 0, 1, 2, 3 and it keeps going. Right? So right from 0 after all the numbers we are saying it as whole numbers. And here is negative numbers. So negative numbers are the numbers minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and it keeps going. So, before 1, if there is negative symbol, then we say it as minus 1. Similarly, for the other numbers. And come, let's learn how to specify in the real time situation. Here I have drawn a tree for you to make you understand how to specify the positive integers and the negative integers. So, 0 can be said as center point. So, here 0 is the ground level. That is our ground level which I specified as 0 here. Above that, what you can see the tree right from here to from the 0 level to the end of the point. That is the tallest point. You can say that these can be specified in the positive integer. So, for example, when I say the tallest, meet, uh, tallest point of the tree is 5 meter from the ground level. So, I am specifying with positive integer. And similarly, when you see here roots that is grown under the ground, so we say we specify it in the negative. So, here the uh, roots are grown towards downwards. So, we are saying it as negative integer. So, minus 2 meter. That's what I have specified here. So, in other so the real time example I want to say that uh, in the temperature. So we can say that when the uh, season is or the climate is so hot I will, uh, I will be recording the temperature as in the positive degree. That is we are saying it as 35 degree Celsius it is to today and yesterday it was 40 degree Celsius. So we can say it is in the uh, uh, positive integer and it is very hot. Similarly, in the cold and uh, cold places, uh, you can see that the uh, temperature is going down. So, towards the negative integer. So, we are specifying it in the negative sign. So, for example, when I say 0 degree Celsius, it is frozen point, right? So, it is freezing point. So, similarly, below that, it will be more, fro uh, more freezing. So, this is uh, specified as negative integer. Come, let's learn how to specify this on the number line. So, 0 is the center point of the integer number line. So, here 0 can be specified as neither positive and nor negative. So, we say it is neither positive or negative, right? So, right after that, 1 onwards, that is towards the right side, we are specifying it in the positive integer. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it keeps going. So, this can be said as this positive integer. So, where you have to specify the positive integer? After the 0 towards right hand side. Similarly, here you can see that it starts with minus 1 in the left side. So, from the left side, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, it keeps going. So, from the minus 1, after all the numbers, we say it as negative integers. So, in this number line, what we have learnt, the 0 is called neither positive and nor negative. And this cannot, this should be specified with out any symbol that is without any sign you should not specify with positive or negative and then towards right hand side you can see that there are positive integers it starts with 1 positive 1 similarly in the left side right from minus 1 we are specifying it as negative integer so starting starting from minus 1 we say that these are all negative integers so what is here minus 1 and 1 are specified here is Minus 1 is the opposite of plus 1. We know opposites, right? So, here minus 1 is the opposite of plus 1. So, 
1 is the opposite of minus 1 and minus 1 is the opposite of plus 1. So similarly we can specify for all the numbers. 2 is the opposite of minus 2. So what can we say this opposite in mathematical term? That is additive inverse. We specify it as additive inverse. And one more thing I need to specify here is minus 1 is the greatest negative integer. You have to keep remembering this because this can be asked in the one word. Minus 1 is the greatest negative integer. Now we are going to learn comparison of integers. So how do we compare two numbers? By placing the three symbols that is greater symbol, smaller symbol and the equal to symbol. So the first question is 0 and minus 8. So which one is greater? 0 is greater or minus 8 is greater? So 0 is the center point of the integer and minus 8 is 8 steps far away from the 0 towards left hand side. So what we have to do is already I told you minus 1 is the negative integer which is the greatest number right. So obviously the minus 8 cannot be the greatest number compared to 0 because minus, after minus 1 you can see that is 0 is going towards right hand side. So whichever, whenever it is going right hand side we say it as that is greater number. So 0 is the greater number here. Next, two, next question is 5 and minus 5. That is one is positive and another one is negative. So when two different signs are there, it's very simple children. What we have to do is we have to put the greater signs for the positive integer. Because whenever the numbers are going towards the right hand side, that is towards a positive integer, we say it as it is a greater number. So next question is 3 and minus 7. So 3 and minus 7 similar to the previous example. One is positive and one is negative. So 3 and minus 7 just now I have told you that positive integers are always greater than the negative integers. So 3 is the greater number. Next question is 6 and 10. So these two when we are comparing both are positive. It's like a normal comparison. So I will say that 10 is the greater number. Next one is 3 and 0. So 3 and 0. 0 is the center point and I have already told you that whichever numbers are going towards right hand side towards positive integer, we say that number is the greater number. So 3 is the greater number. So minus 2 and minus 5, both are negative here. What we have to do? We, we need to check minus 2 and minus 5 where it is placing. So minus 1 is the greatest negative integers. So the number minus 2 is near to that. So this number is the greater number compared to minus 5. So minus 2 is the greater number. Now let's see how to plot the numbers on number line. So first thing when we see this question number 9, we have to draw a line and divide the uh, division into equal parts. Then what we have to do? Put the 0 in the center place or anywhere which you can do it here with the help of these numbers. You have to count the numbers and do it. So here is minus 5 and 0 I have already placed here. Main thing is another one is that is placing the arrow marks. Why we are placing the arrow marks? Because the numbers are endless. Towards left hand side that is negative integer and towards right hand side that is positive integers. Both are endless. That is why we are specifying with the arrow marks. So minus 5. What we have to do? We have to count towards left hand side from the place 0. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So minus 5 is here. Next one is positive 7. So positive 7 obviously it goes towards the right hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Next one is 0. Already we have marked so you don't have to think much. And next one is minus 2. Minus 2 again it comes towards the left hand side of the 0. So the one mi minus 1 here, minus 2 here. Next one is 4, positive 4. So positive 4 again up to 0 towards right hand side. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is how we have to plot the number line. If you like my video, please subscribe for it. And also if you want to watch more videos of concepts, more concepts, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.